access to the The position of the planets decided the course of your life. Every form has a vibration of its own. The whole existence is a vibration as far as the science is concerned, isn't it? You know this? So this vessel is a certain kind of vibration. Naturally, it's animating a certain field around itself. Objects around you can influence you. So if this vessel can influence you, definitely the huge planets, they must be exerting some kind of influence on you. Five, five, eighty. Sun was from Taurus, you gave me the voice, I was born to record this Scorpio rising, I was born to explore this, my life fell deeper Born with 12 tinges, planets are the notes, broadcast with 12 speakers Neptune, Sagittarius, and I'm a big dreamer Sag in the second, cash is expected Traveling the globe or in cap with the message Observe that I'm cold with submerged in commotion Lunar Capricorn, I'm reserved with emotion Fourth house where the air begins, where my soul roots are buried in Plus my old dirt's in the crub again, nigga with my kids out Eating fish in my fifth house, I create art to pass gifts out Aries in the sixth, I'm quick to serve others Mercury and Taurus, my words are like numbers I love to think, write so well, I'm on some other ink Venus, Gemini, Tahuti, I'm yours truly My words is pure beauty that rise while the others sink Cancer in the ninth, I'm at home when I'm learning Saturn in the tenth, so I know I'm determined I know I'm deserving, precise with it maybe more Jupiter conjunct, you won't like when I'm angry Eleven pounds Pluto, I change the group's thinking Libra in the twelfth, relate or keep sinking The God throws living these classes, don't quit it The path is so stripped that the masses don't get it Till they start studying their cosmophysics We come to understand it, 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 it is what you call planetary vibration The sun emits energy throughout the solar system planet being made up of its own substance channels that or refracts energy towards the earth. This is what gives us the current and the energy to possess different factors. You as a recipient of it control it though. So you can decide now to speak and use that energy to speak, or you can decide not to, so you control it. However, you don't control it to the degree whether you possess it or don't possess it. Just possess yourself of a thought. Can't even do that. You can't even stop thinking. So the energy is constantly running. You walking down the street, you're taking a shower on a cold day, uh, uh, and you're actually attending to irritate you, you know, or anybody for that matter. It's an irritation dealing with the elements. Uh, that's a good way to uh, read the moon and Aries. Well, I think from my perspective, I would look at the moon and Aries more the fire-water combination is steam. Because fire and water, you got your steam, and people get steamed, and that causes them to uh, get angry and argue. And so that's where that element of uh, fighting may come in. People are more aggressive. Um, it's the, you know, Aries is uh, ruled by the planet of war and strife. So hence, you're going to have a lot of strife and war. <laughs> going on so it but it all depends on how uh aries energy affects you personally or a particular that was some real powerful that was a powerful statement right there you know we really, uh, sit up here and speculate about the moon and the fire sign it truly depends on how it affects you personally but we've been through it before with regards to how uh, your own personal chart is is is, is a lot more detailed and has a lot more to it than than uh, what your what your own personal sign is. You know, Aries is a real powerful sign because it starts off the zodiac. And every sign, therefore, is powerful depending on how it plays out in your chart. Aries in one person's chart is stronger than Aries in another person. So when we talk about the, the moon in a fire sign, really, I think, you know, it depends on the aspects to the moon. It depends upon your emotional performance and what happens during transit. Yeah. So yes, I want to hear what y'all have to say. I'm going to elaborate on the moon in Aries because, number one, we know that the moon in the person's chart describes their mother. So, you know... However, the moon is situated in any way chart. It's going to describe the, the 
the emotional temperament and how they get along with their mother and how they get along with women in general. And this is for male or female. So it, it really doesn't have any gender in so much how it, it, it applies how you're protected by women in the world. The moon is also symbolic to uh, women in general. So it could be your mother who would describe the relationship between you and your grandmother. It would describe the relationship between you and your aunt, you and any woman in your family. Right? After that application is taken into consideration, the moon also relates to emotional temperament of how you deal with women, not just how your women have affected you, not just your relationship with women, how you deal with them. So men who have, and women who have the moon in Aries are usually very straight and very curt or very direct and very assertive when it comes to dealing with women because their mothers and their grandmothers have been the exemplary of this type of energy. Right? If there were a bad aspect, in other words, if you were born with planets in 90 degree aspect from the view here on Earth, at the time you were born, if a planet in the sky, 90 degrees from the moon, then that planet would describe any type of tension you had experienced or any type of difficulty or trauma that you experienced on account of women or, or with women or because of women or this is how, what, what type of trauma you bring to women. So, you know, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and bring it back up pick back up where you're at, you have to understand I, I have to be the mediator here between the conversation you're having and the, and the audience, right? because, they, you know, when we talk about the moon, people are like, I see the moon every day and I don't feel anything, so, you know, I got to let it be known, show me. You think you, you need to be the mediator, so what, it, it's um, me versus Marku? No, that ain't, it ain't not the mediator between you two. We have an audience, like I said. We have an audience. So while y'all discuss the moon as two astrologers, y'all might, you know, if I say to you, oh, the moon is the square in Mercury right now, and, and, and it's in the sign of Capricorn, as an astrologer, you know what it means. You know how to apply that to your chart or anybody else's. But the average person listening to this radio show don't know that. They have no idea how to uh, how to interpret that. So I have to mediate between the conversation that y'all are having and the listeners. Okay, and also maybe the listeners do not know if they or anyone else has an Aries moon, so or whatever uh, moon, whatever. So that's another aspect that we also need to take into consideration. That's why we get, we take that's why we take calls and uh, we we give demonstrations and readings so people can get an understanding of what we're talking about, not just hearing us theorize, you know. But we're not going to be taking calls for another fifteen, ten or fifteen minutes. Here we're going, you know, we're going to take some calls. And uh, the, the, by the way, the number to call in is five zero seven seven two six four two hundred. All right, but uh, uh, you first, pardon me, you need to call 408-600-2726 and call in if you want to make comments and if you, if you want to get a demonstration done on your, on your chart. Remember, I made the announcement that we're going to do uh, compatibility readings today, right? In the last hour, you know, which is from 10 to 11, we're going to do compatibility readings. So if you want to know about your, yourself and your partner, you know, you can call in then, and, you know. Um, at any rate, back to where we was at, y'all was talking about how the moon in a fire sign is different than the moon in, in an air sign. And I would like you to elaborate some more on that. I, I, I tried to give an explanation of what the moon was uh, and, and how it is, is, is significant in anyone's chart. So if you could pick up where you left off, it'd be lovely. Well, I was speaking of, you know, we were just chatting before we got online about, I was speaking about how the transiting moon is transiting uh, the sign of Aries, and we were just talking about what that would bring. Like, 
to, you know, let everybody out there know that there are four elements. There are fire, earth, air, and water. And when dealing with the moon, the moon is a watery planet, as we know. It affects the tides of the water, the emotions, and things like that. And it's at home when it's in cancer or in a water sign. It tends to deal with the moods and moods and feelings. And, uh, you know, I'll recognize how the moon in Aries, you know, tends to bring the emotions and feelings to be a little bit temperamental or aggressive because the sign of Aries is that. The moon moves through each sign approximately two and a half days. You know, it takes 30 days approximately or 27.321582 uh, days average to complete the cycle. And I was just imagining... Okay, you just, you, just, you just may have lost some people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but you have to. The moon, okay, because the moon rev regulates the public... Um, we have to take into consideration that planetary energy tonight. The moon in Aries, it misses the details. It wants to get to the meat of it. And I think that the details behind the how, um, you know, is uh, is going to be missed tonight. We have to keep that in, in mind. You know, not to mention this stellum in Pisces. You know, people are in a dreamy kind of, you know, sluggish type of state. So moon in Aries is quick, get to the point. Uh, I don't want to hear all that, you know, you know, if this is a Virgo moon, yeah, we can get technical and we can pull out the mathematics on it, but I think uh, that uh, for the purpose of energy tonight, it's like, you know, let's not lose them. The math was stated. He said 27.321582, and I'm going to translate that. That's 27 days, 7 hours, and 42 minutes. This is how long it takes the Earth to go, uh, this is how long it takes the moon, pardon me, to go around the Earth one time. Okay, remember, Moon and Aries is the sign of me, 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 me. I want to know how does this apply to me because that is Aryan energy. I, I, me, me, me. Forget all of that. What you're talking about is the moon and how it affects everyone else. And Aries is not about everyone else. It's about how does this relate to me. So I think that, um, Marku, if you could give us um, an example on how a moon and Aries is going to affect your chart or how where in your chart it's transiting and how um, you're feeling the effects of that. Well, what I can do is I can uh, explain on a transit, um, a transit as far as where the planets are placed right now. Being that the sun is in Pisces right now, for anybody who's a Pisces right now, they would be me, 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 me first, or uh, a, a headstrong, I would say, is Aries in regards to their finances. But in order for me to get uh, precise with that, it would really have to um, look at the natal chart. Um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, I have to be placed in my sixth house, okay? So it has to do with my work. I understand that in my life right now that I'm looking uh, to move strong or quickly in the areas of work or areas of health and my hygiene. So I'm trying to get an exercise plan or... Uh, actively looking for work at this time. Like you said, it would be me, me, me. It's all about me. It depends on what uh, chart we're reading with, based on the sending sign and all that. Well, let me, see. let me interject right now. Aries is, you know, for the average individual, it is all about me. But Aries also is a sign of sacrifice, self-sacrifice on a high vibration. So for those who, who, who are, are, are going, undergoing that urge because the moon is in Aries, they need to think first of the, of the fact that we use this science personally and, you know, we use this science to, per, to better ourselves and, and, and to get a broader worldview, you know. So even when the moon is in Aries, it brings out the selfish tendency and, and, and the self-preservationist tendency in people. Especially whether you have the moon in Aries or not, but especially if you're a Cancer, a Capricorn, a Libra, or an Aries, you know, uh, it, because the moon forms a harsh aspect right now in the sky, it brings these things to the fore, you know? It brings these things straight out. Yeah, it, it does bring that. I think also, I like to use the moon too.